Hello dear children, I hope you all are fine and enjoying your online classes. This is your subject teacher of social studies and today in this video I am going to explain you a new topic, a new chapter that is chapter number 16, the seeds of honesty. What does honesty mean? Honesty means truthful, sincere. So, in this lesson, we are going to learn the importance of honesty, the importance of telling truth. So, children, as you can see here, this is a story of a king. Once upon a time, there was a king. He had no children. He was worried who would be king after him. One day, he said to his ministers, I want to choose a person who will be king after me. Call the people of the city to the palace. One day, the king was very worried because he had no children. He was thinking of that, that who would be the king after him. So, he called his minister and asked him to call the people of the city to the palace so that he could choose a person who will be the king after him. When the people of the city reached the palace and the king spoke to them, My dear people, you are here today for a special reason. I want to choose one among you as prince of the kingdom. He will be the king after me. When the people of the city reached the palace, the king said to them that, Today here I have called you for a special reason because I want to choose one of among you to the prince of the kingdom and he will be the king after me. Now look at next page. Here is a bucket full of seeds. Please take one seed each. Plant it, take care of it and come back to me after one year with what you have grown. The man with the healthiest plant will become the prince of the kingdom. Then king said to the people that here is a bucket full of seeds. You have to take one seed each, plant it, take care of it and then you have to come back after one year with the what you have grown and the man with the healthiest plant will become the prince of the kingdom. The people were very happy. Everybody wanted to be the prince. After all, it was easy to grow plants. They took the seeds and went back home. Means, people thought that it is very easy to grow plant and it is a very easy task to become the prince of this kingdom. After a year, the people came back to the palace with their plants. Each plant had lovely green leaves and beautiful flowers. After one year, all the people of the city came back to the palace with their plants and each plant had lovely green leaves and beautiful flowers in their flower pots. The king then came to look at the plants. All the flower pots were kept in a row. Suddenly, the king saw a pot that had no plant in it. The people said, the people said, what a lazy man. He cannot even grow a plant. How can he hope to rule the kingdom? The king asked, whose pot is this? Please come forward. A young man came forward slowly and said, Maharaj, please accept my greetings. This pot belongs to me. Means after one year when all the people came to the palace with their plants and everyone having a beautiful green leaves and flowers in their pots and then suddenly king saw a empty pot. In that pot there was nothing. Then everyone looked at that empty pot and wondering that who is this? And what a lazy man he is that he cannot even grow a plant. And then how can he hope to rule the kingdom? Then king asked, whose pot is this? Please come forward. And then a young man came 
forward and said, Maharaj, please accept my greetings. This pot is mine. This pot belongs to me. Now look at the next page. The king asked, Why there is no plant in your pot? The man replied, Please excuse me, Maharaj. I tried very hard. I watered the soil and took great care of the seed day and night. But the seed just did not grow into a plant. The king asked the man that why your pot is empty. The man replied that sorry Maharaj, I tried very hard. I watered the soil and took the great care of the seed day and night. He says that I watered the soil and take great care of the seed day and night but still the seed just did not grow into a plant. Then the king said to the people, Today I choose this young man as the prince of the kingdom. After me, he will sit on the throne and rule this kingdom. Then king said to all the people that, Today I have chosen the young man as the prince of the kingdom and after me, he will sit on my chair and rule this kingdom. Everybody was shocked to hear this. The people looked at each other. How can the king choose him as prince? There is no plant in his pot. While we worked so hard to grow beautiful plants. Means every people was shocked to hear that the king has chosen this young man with empty pot as the prince of the kingdom. While we have worked so hard to grow beautiful plants. The king said, My dear people, you must be wondering why I chose him. Let me explain. The seeds I gave all of you had been boiled. It is not possible for boiled seeds to grow into plants. So all of you who came here today with plants are liars. When the seed I gave you did not grow, you planted another seed. He is the only honest and brave person among you. He did not cheat. Then king, then king said to the people that you must be wondering that why I select this young man to the prince of the kingdom because he is an honest person among you because you all are liars because the seeds I have given to you was a boiled seeds and boiled seeds did not grow into plants. That means you all are liars. You have planted another seed. And this young boy is the only honest and brave because he tells me the truth. He did not cheat. Now look at next page. Only an honest person is fit to be the king as it takes a lot of courage to be truthful. This story from long ago teaches the importance of telling the truth. So student, in this lesson we have learned about the honesty, the seed of honesty. Honesty is the is really the best policy because it is the foundation for working properly for relationships not only that it nourishes people's life in many ways any relation is based on truth which is only obtained honestly generally people find it hard to be honest because integrity is very difficult to maintain now what is honesty Honesty is a good habit in which every aspect of life always includes being truthful and trustworthy. Under this, it is never included in fraud and immoral in life. It is based on trust-based ethical behavior and is free from all bad deeds. Sincerity is a good quality and a lot of importance. It is always praised in family, society and throughout the world. A person who holds the property of integrity is truly a good person. 
whether a person is honest or dishonest it relies entirely on the ethics of his family and the surrounding environment if parent if parents are sincere they will surely assign it to their children genetically otherwise it can be developed from practice which requires patience and perseverance an honest person is always known for his sincerity exactly like the sun for his food light and unlimited energy this is the quality that helps the person to succeed in life and gain more respect it recognizes the moral character of a person unconscious people can easily gain trust and respect from others however they lose forever when caught so this was all about the importance of honesty that we have learned we have discussed in this story that how an young man who tells the truth to the king becomes the prince of the kingdom so children i hope you have understood now that's it for today thank you and have a nice day